name is Reed, and I know that Jupiter has 61 moons. My name is Jessica, and what I know about space is that not only Saturn has rings, um, other, other planets have rings. I think STEM education is important for the nation, and the reason it is is that we're falling behind competitively in math and science. Uh, we're probably somewhere between 25th and 28th in the world in math and science education. And so the president, in his message in January, said that it was very important for us to rebound from where we are to get back to the top 10 or even the top 5. Our job here at the University of Colorado Boulder is to double the number of science and math teachers that we've been producing in the past so that we have qualified teachers in the classroom. We have over 40 different programs, and many of them are nationally renowned. The Colorado Learning Assistant Program, the CU Teach, the Integrated Teaching and Learning Lab, the Biosciences Initiative, uh, CU Science Discovery. What we're seeking to do is to bring those together in a coordinated fashion so we can leverage the resources among these very talented programs and really elevate ourselves to the next level. The Colorado Learning Assistant model, it's a multidisciplinary experiential learning program that's designed to recruit and prepare mathematics and science teachers. But at the same time, it doubles as a mechanism for transforming large enrollment undergraduate mathematics and science courses so that they're more student-centered, more interactive, and more aligned with what the educational research says. We're going to do this all together as a class, because if I try and write it out, it's gonna go horrible. So we're gonna discuss part two, initial ideas about solubility, okay? So I think that the LAs are really good because a lot of them really want to be teachers and we take teaching seminars, we have to take teaching classes, like, so we really get into like, how do students learn best? How do they do this? And so the idea was to use also learning assistants in to attend the lectures, and to some extent they participated in the lectures, but I think mostly they were in the lecture to keep the pulse of the course so that when they work side by side with the students in the recitation, that they would be really well prepared to do so. LAs are expert learners and so they are learning coaches for fellow undergraduates in, in the course. They and it was the LA program that confirmed my love for teaching and I'm not going back to pre-med ever. <laughs> I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life and just being in the LA program I learned a lot about learning not just teaching. I can only honestly say that I don't think I knew how to learn until I became an LA because I always thought that to be successful you just needed good grades and to get good grades all you had to do is memorize what the professor told you. That is not the case. The faculty who initiated the STEM education programs are some of the best faculty on the campus. Two of our Nobel laureates in Carl Wyman and Tom Check have been heavily involved in, in this new model of learning. Uh, we've also had faculty from the National Academy of Science and the National Academy of Education as well as uh, some of our best physics teachers working together and I think that shows that the campus is very committed to reforming STEM education. Well, the STEM education is critical for the future of our planet. You know, we're training the next generation who are going to uh, use technology to solve problems of the environment and of health and of the welfare of, of people. So we're very committed to this. Um, a great thing about the STEM program is uh, you can get incorporated into classes before you apply to the School of Education where you actually teach practicum hours. So like um, the step one and step two programs, um, step one you teach elementary school and step two you teach middle school. So you can really explore the field that you want to teach in and if you're being in LA then you're teaching college level students. So these three threads, transforming our undergraduate, graduate and K-12 educational environments in STEM, discipline-based education research in STEM, and teacher professional development, the recruitment and preparation and continued support of teachers or all woven together so that those students that we're recruiting to be future K-12 teachers actually get early field experiences working in our undergraduate classrooms. You want to know something silly? When we went before, only boys went to the moon. So all you girls could be the first girl to walk on the moon someday. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I'm going to make a girls only place on the moon. So like we said before, remember to always dream big.
Dream big. I like nothing's to impossible. I want to. I want Nothing to is impossible. Like, oh, I, 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 I,